it's the end of the day of the day that I was charged by a loose German Shepherd and knocked out and I'm in pain. Hi, I'm Glory B and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, <gasps> feel amazing and age gracefully. Well, I'm here in my bathroom with my ambient lighting, which I really don't use in YouTube videos, but I was knocked down earlier today by a loose German Shepherd in my neighborhood and I'm in pain. So I have, um, overdue <laughs> testing and needing to do a video on some products by Willow Balm, which are pain relieving products and also uh, like a mosquito bite anti-itch product, which I did get a little clip of that because I have been bit my mosquitoes. I've owed them this for a long time. So I have some pain relieving cream and this is one of those um, products with menthol in it and they have some other natural ingredients but the other thing I'm also going to try to you can notice I'm I'm not moving my left arm for a reason this is the um, nature's willow willow balm pain relief patch and I tried one of these once when I was only in a little bit of pain but this patch I'm going to cut it in half because Right now, I'm in pain in this elbow. I can't, I can't straighten it. I can't bend it further than this. I found out tonight I can't floss my teeth because you need two hands to do that and two good elbows. I can't blow my nose really well because I can't get this hand up. <laughs> you need two clamps. I can't blow my nose with one hand. Some people can't. Um, I couldn't wash my face very well. Obviously, I finally got all the makeup off, but that was a struggle. So, yeah, there are a lot of things that you need two good elbows for. Because I was thinking, um, if, if, if any of you have been following me, you know that back in, was it 2017, I had hand surgery on my left hand, but it didn't include my elbow because earlier, t about an hour ago, I was thinking, okay, how did I do this when I had hand surgery? Well, it's because my I had full use of my elbow and a little bit with my fingers, so I could do a lot of things. If you don't have your elbow, you don't have much. So anyway, I'm sore on my ribs, like right under my ribs, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you that on on camera. You're just gonna have to trust me that I'm gonna put some of this patch on there. But you can see me now. I do have a band aid on this and on this one because I did get scraped up on my elbows but um, you know you know how to apply a cream but I want you to see these patches and they come in individual envelopes let's see how many come in a pack so I've already used one and there oh how many are left here one two three four five so it comes with six in a box and it has a different feel to it than um, than the cream. So I remember putting this on, I don't know, about a month ago. And for the first 10 minutes, I didn't feel anything. And then 10 minutes later, I felt all this heat. And I thought, wow, what's it? And I think I had it on my back. And I touched my back and my back wasn't warm. So it was from the product. So very interesting. So the instructions say, if I can read this, they actually did nice dark writing <laughs> on white. Open the packaging, remove the patch, remove the transparent film from the patch, and apply the patch to the affected area. And you can wear it for several hours. So I'm going to wear it overnight. Ooh, that's hard to turn. <laughs> okay, I got that hurts. My elbow. You need your elbows to do stuff. I'm just going to cut it with scissors. I'm actually sitting on a bench because it's just easy. <laughs> I'm a mess from this. Okay, so the patch looks like this. The side that I'm showing you right here, this is plasticky, and then this is kind of a soft cloth. So the plasticky part, let's see, 
it has it does have two pieces like this and it's sticky so I'm let's see what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut it in half let's see for the elbow I'll show you the elbow and you're just gonna have to trust me that I put the put it right right below my breast that's why I'm not showing it I got a lot of creepy men following me and sending me weird comments and emails so I'm not gonna show that God. Oh. all right so I'm gonna pull this off of course I'm not wearing glasses so I can't see what I'm doing okay I'm gonna really <laughs> I'm gonna wear my old lady glasses I keep these in the bathroom just in case I need a pair of glasses I'm one of those people okay so I'm gonna pull this off I'm gonna pull off that I see a little circly piece here okay okay I brightened that up a little bit I'm just I'm trying to think of where I'm the most sore I'm just it's just all in here it's like internal bruising really so this this product is really good for muscle soreness but I think I'm most sore like all around here so I'm gonna take this I don't want it to come off during the night from bending my elbow well I'm at a 90 degree angle anyway all night so I'm just gonna put it on like that and all right I'm going to come back in 10 minutes and tell you how this feels and in that 10 minutes that it's off I'm also going to put it on my ribs oh pain makes me kind of woohoo anyway all right so I'm going to come back in 10 minutes and tell you how this feels so that's the next clip it's been about 10 minutes and actually the heat that I feel the most is where I applied the rest so that second half of the um, of the patch I cut it in half again and I put one well they're both under each breast so that's where my rib cage really hurts and I can feel this warmth it feels so good um, here on my elbow my elbows being a little tough um, I don't feel the warmth as much maybe you feel it on muscle I don't know but just for fun I put a little bit of the balm on my back and in the next clip we'll talk tomorrow <laughs> when I'm a little more presentable and you know I'm not a drinker but I still sure feel like it I also I got better glasses um, so in the willow balm there are different active ingredients than in the cream so the active ingredients are four homeopathic products so one is devil's claw cut root and then there's some long Latin term Arnica Montana Boswellia serrata extract and Salix Alba and it says for temporary relief of minor aches and pains of muscles and joints associated with simple backache arthritis and strains I got some strains so I'm gonna to go to bed now and in the next clip I'll tell you a little bit more about that including this really interesting daily relief soothing daily bar soap that they sent me this has some interesting ingredients as well and hopefully I have a little relief tomorrow and hopefully I can wash my face tomorrow before I tell you about my experience overnight with the patches I want to tell you a little bit about the bite balm so I did this was the first product I tried and I tried it on a mosquito bite I have a mosquito bite on my knee of all places I'm going to take my bug bite balm and I'm just going to do this one handed and put a little bit here and just spread it around with the tube and it gives me some relief from that bite. 
Before I forget to tell you, I want to remind you that if, and I'm talking about this on as many videos as I can remember, if you'd like to get my free three page tips sheet on anti-aging, you can get that from my website. So you go to my website, glorybee-tv.com slash get dash tips. And on that page, you scroll down and in the box, you type your email address, click the pink get my tips button and you'll get the tips. There are all kinds of um, recipes on there for kind of what you can eat in the morning that helped me years ago when I first started on my journey. And that contributed to better health and the better health was reflected in my face. I also have some favorite skincare products and favorite makeup products. So go ahead and do that. And then I also want to tell you that everything I'm talking about today with the Nature's Willow products and also the makeup I'm wearing today is all listed in the description box below the video. Now, I know a lot of you don't know how to get to the video to the description box, so I'm going to tell you. If you're watching on a phone or a tablet or other mobile device, go below the video and on the right side, there's a little V. Tap that little V and that opens the description box. Now, since I made that little clip showing how to open the description box, YouTube has added another layer. So now you'll see the word more, I think it's in bold, and you tap that word more and it opens the description box completely. If you're watching on a computer, go below the video on the left side, you'll see the word show more, click those words show more, and that opens the description box. So all the links of what I'm talking about today is in there, all the makeup links to that, is down there and then links to other things you might be interested in like other videos or discount codes i have for other brands all right so let's get back to what happened last night so i had a really fitful sleep time i realized i needed to sleep on my back and i needed to prop my arm up so I had to go back to my video from when I had hand surgery four years ago to see how I arranged the pillows just so, so that my arm was elevated and I wouldn't move. And then I had two pillows lying down on my back and now my neck is sore. So we're going to test some of the products on my neck next. But it was really, it was difficult. It was hard to sit up because again, um, the the rib cage was sore. So if I sat up, I actually had to pull on the covers to pull myself up. Now the patch, I could really feel um, underneath, you know, underneath my breast on the, on the uh, rib cage. I could feel that warmth even in the, the next morning. So now I thought my camera was on, it was off. I took the patch off already. Now the thing is, this is for muscle soreness and that kind of thing. So I don't think I have muscle soreness with my elbow. I think it's so internal from the impact that I didn't really feel the patch doing anything there. But what I want to do now is test another piece of the patch on one side of my neck and then also some of the pain relief cream on the other side. Because my neck hurts a lot. Oh, I'm not in good shape. And then I found out this morning that this dog that knocked me down um, is from like an adjacent neighborhood. So we don't even know who this guy was. We don't even know. Oh my gosh. That's insane. So I just want a little piece over here. And then... <laughs> You also need two hands pretty much to do your hair. So I can only, I can't bend this arm. You know, it's 90 degree angle, a little bit more. That's as far as I can bend it. And then bending out, that's as far as I can bend it. So this is harder to take care of myself than when I had the hand surgery. And all kinds of people write me about the hand surgery. Oh, you know, you have full use of your elbow after that hand surgery. You need your elbow to do a lot of things. So yeah, the hand surgery was not a big deal. Bunion surgery was much worse. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a little piece 
with my scissors and I can't lift up my hair other than with one hand. I was going to put my hair in a ponytail today and put a hat on. I couldn't put my hair in a ponytail. All right, so now I'm going to take this off. All right, here's this. And, oh boy, I'm looking at myself in the monitor. I might get some on my hair because I can't use my left hand to hold my hair up. I'm just going to put it right there where it hurts a lot. Okay, I'm going to press it down. All right. Now I'm going to take the willow balm and put some of that on my right hand, of course, because it can only just apply it to my neck. And then wipe the rest off my finger. Now while that sets, I want to talk about the soap. So they have a soap called Daily Relief with white willow bark and helichrysum soothing daily bar soap. And that's an empty box because I have it out of the box. It looks like this. I have it in my paper towel. It does have a scent, but it's not it's not super strong, which is good because so many soaps like Irish Spring and all those that are so heavily scented kind of give me a headache, but this is okay. So, you know, I, re I remember years ago, my brother as a child getting poison ivy and our family doctor told my mom to buy this one special soap. So I think something like this might even be good for that. You'd have to try it though, um, just because, but, or if you don't like it for that, it could be good for bug bites and also just working together with the other products if you have muscle soreness. And then as I showed the bug bite balm, this is really nice. I showed that I just applied it to my knee without even putting it on my finger, but you could. And this is really great. So let me read real quick what's in the bug bite balm. The active ingredient is menthol, 1%. And it has other things like almond oil, camphor, eucalyptus oil, geranium oil, um, jojoba, seed extract, lavender oil, lemongrass oil. Um, so a lot of natural things. And then the last ingredient is the white willow bark extract, which is one of the things that they have at Nature's Willow that a lot of other natural products don't have. So it's very interesting. Okay, I'm starting to feel the menthol on the cream. And um, it hasn't been 10 minutes yet, but I'm sure I'm going to start feeling the patch. And again, it's just from lying on my back all night and probably being in pain and falling asleep and having, you know, a stiff neck just from being tense from being in pain. So the other thing you might want to do is look through their website. Now, I found that by going through their website, they also sell this in stores. So you could order from them directly or you can check a store. They have a spot where you can type in your zip code and it will tell you local stores in your area that carry their products. And I, you'd have to call the store to find out which of the products they carry. You know, if you're specifically looking for the patch, you'd want to ask them about the patch. So in the description box below, I'll have all the names of all of these four products that I showed you. But I, you know, if you like a natural remedy for muscle pain and for bug bites, this would be a great line to check out. And you know, it doesn't hurt you. And like I said, I'm really sensitive to scents. And this is, these are not strong. Even, even the pain relieving cream, it's not strong. The bug bite balm isn't strong. And then the patch, the patch doesn't really smell like anything. So I think it's really a great thing to check out. 
And when you're done watching this, check out some information on my recent move by tapping one of the images on the left side of your screen. And I'll see you in the next video.